What is going on guys? Welcome to a new video. So today then we're going to be building Facebook ads or more specifically than the actual Facebook ad copy itself. So to start the video off, I've got a couple of my own Facebook ads just to show you guys so you can see the kind of results they've produced and actually know this strategy works then. We're also going to be looking at some Facebook ads from some of the big dropshipping companies because the best way then to be successful at anything is to find somebody who is successful already getting those results, find out what they're doing and replicate it. So not actually copy just replicate and then finally we're going to be going through the strategy step by step top to bottom and looking at the core points and fundamentals then of what goes into making a successful Facebook ad so that being said then guys that's the topic thank you for tuning in I hope you enjoy the video and let's get straight into it what is going on then guys welcome to my computer so first things first then as promised here's a couple of my own Facebook ads um, and then I just want to quickly show you the strategy that we're going through because it is step by step um, and there are a couple of little bonus tips at the end as well. So make sure you stay tuned to that because I always I like to show you guys the past results so you know that what I'm showing and teaching you actually works. But unless you actually understand why it works and what actually goes into it, like I haven't chose like the wording I've used isn't random. There's a reason why I've used this particular strategy and that's kind of what we're going to be going into and getting into um, in this step-by-step -step strategy towards the end of the video. So this first post I want to show you, if you've been following the channel uh, for some time, you've probably already seen it before because it's the typical one I like to show on this channel. It is a past ad. I don't run this particular specific ad anymore um, purely because I like to keep what I'm doing now um, off YouTube just because to stay away from um, just people posting comments and placing fraudulent orders in my stores. This is an old store, an old general store that I don't run anymore. But I do like to be as transparent as possible. So the store still is up and running. In fact, I'll show you guys quickly. Um, when people tend to ask me of good stores or stores to kind of copy or that they can use, I always send them to this one. It is still up and running. I still do pay the subscription on it. So people can still come over to it and see the kind of layout I've used. You can copy the product pages. I've got no problem with that at all. If you want to copy it word by word, then um, I've got literally got no problems with that at all whatsoever. Um, so yeah, if you are struggling for product pages or whatever it is, just like the general kind of layout of a store, feel free, head over, um, it is still live. So anyway, back to this first ad, as you can see, um, this is pretty much exactly what it was. There was nearly a million people reached. I thought it was a bit more than this actually, but um, this is what it's saying at the moment. We've got 10,000 reactions and comments, uh, 5,000 likes. And one thing I was pretty proud of as well, actually, that I only got seven angry responses to it, which is quite a lot. If you think nearly a million people have seen it, um, so get only seven people that choose the angry emoji is pretty good. Um, and it's a natural thing as well. When you're running your ads, you will get people who just hate ads. No matter what they are, they just hate seeing ads and they'll just respond angrily to it. It might be a comment, um, it might be another way, but um, just be aware it's just part of the process. It is gonna happen at some point. So 30,000 clicks, 8,000 clicks to play, uh, 15,000 link clicks. Um, I'm pretty much just reading what it says, but feel free to pause the video, have a look at it if you want. In fact, I'll show you guys the ad as well. Let's turn it down a little bit, don't wanna make it too loud. Um, it's really dead simple, to be honest. Let's just watch this for a minute. As you can see, the video is like 15 seconds long. And I created this using an app on my phone called Quick. I've done a video on it, so just, um, it's one of my recent videos. So if you just look back in the last few weeks, you'll see how I created this exact ad. Um, dead simple to do. And to be honest, there's not as much as you think goes into an ad though. There's some simple core fundamentals that you have to do correctly. And if you do, then um, it proves very effective. And then the next one I wanna show you is for the same product. Again, I filmed this on my iPhone. Like It really was just that simple. I don't think there was any music in this one. So it just shows the LED colors lit up, but with the lights on. Then I literally just switched lights off in the room. Um, and that was literally the ad I used. And believe it or not, that one actually did a really, really well, better than this one better than this one here actually. So yeah, they're the two ads that I wanted to show you guys. I'm not gonna go into my actual ad manager and show you how much money they produce because I've I've done that in past videos. If you search for the With Proof series on my YouTube channel, I go into more details like that. The whole point of this video then is how, or why have I chose this certain wording? So if you've looked at these two in detail or if you've paused the video, you'll notice that 
like the text in this top bit, the layout and kind of structure of it is very similar. So I think they both start off with a question. Um, then it goes into pretty much highlighting what the problem is and the solution. Then there's a call to action and then there's the encouragement um, for the engagement. However, we will get into that more uh, later on in the video. So the first company I want to show you guys is Blue Crate. I feature these guys in my videos all the time just because they're absolutely smashing it. If you go on to, um, let's see, in fact, I can show you guys bluecrate.com. And then the, I'm just going to move myself down here out of the way. And then once this page, once it loads, then I've got a handy little tool. It's free. You guys can go and download it. I'm not affiliated whatsoever, but it is handy for uh, for a couple of different things. So if we just click on this one here, so it's called Similar Web. And when it loads up, then it just gives you a few different details. So it tells you like their monthly visits. And as you can see, these guys are regularly getting about half a million visits a month. Um, back towards kind of the middle of last year, they were getting over 3 million in one month. That must have been just a crazy month for them. Um, and then there's a couple of other things you can do as well with this tool here, which is called Commerce Inspector. Again, both these tools are 100% free. Um, it tells you what theme they're using. So they're using the Retina theme, which I believe is a free theme. So to all those people out there that say you need a paid theme, um, it's just not the case. You can go on products. It will tell you and show you the products that they're selling. Um, and another thing it does as well, now I'm not sure how accurate this is, but it will give you suggestions to what actual apps they're using. Um, and then it will also take you to their best sellers as well. So you can see exactly what their best seller things are. Anyway, going completely off topic here, let's go to their Facebook page so you can see the actual Facebook ads there, uh, they're running at the moment. <clears throat> So if you head over to any Facebook page then, just click on info and ads down here on the left. Um, and then you can choose the country to see what ads they're running in. They're obviously choosing the big four English speaking ones, which is what I always recommend. Um, and then moving down, so these are the actual ads. So this is their best seller. This is their best selling products. <clears throat> this is their best selling products. They're getting half a million visits per month and this is the ad that's producing those results and as you can see the kind of structure and layout they've used is pretty similar to mine so they've got a video ad they've got the call to action button down here and they've got like a pretty general statement to be honest but they've got the emoji at the end to draw attention um, and then they've obviously got the call to action there which pretty much just tells people exactly where to go to get this product moving on to this website here again these guys are in the top I think it's 100 or 200 Shopify stores in the world. So a very, very big store. They will be easily pushing over a million dollars a year. Um, and these are the ads they're running. As you can see, they're carousel ads. Now, again, another popular question people ask me is, should we use video ads, carousel ads? But to be honest, they all work. As long as you have the right audience and the right products, um, it could be a video ad, it could be an image ad, it's always going to work. Um, and again, the kind of structure is the same thing. There's kind of like a statement there that tells people what the benefits are of this product or shopping with them, which is 10% off. And then again, they've got their call to actions. Call to actions are absolutely key. But again, we'll get more into that later on. And then the third and final company I want to show you guys, again, in the top 200 of all Shopify stores, um, are these guys here. So I think these guys are running ads in pretty much every country in the world they are. So they're obviously doing worldwide. And if we just have a look again at the actual structure of their Facebook ads, it's very similar to the one I've used, to the ones we've just seen. Um, so you can see it definitely does definitely work. So if you follow this structure and you're not getting sales, you're not getting the results you want, then you know it's because of your audience or your actual product. So again, they've got the statement at the top, which tells people what the problem is and what the fix is. They've got a call to action and then they've got like a way of creating a sense of urgency to encourage people to actually buy it there and then. Um, and then obviously they've got their shop now. And again, um, just kind of like another benefit or advantage to shopping with them. So that being said, they are kind of like the examples I want to show you guys. I just wanted to prove to you that this strategy that I've shown you isn't just some sort of made up a BS strategy that I've plucked out of thin air. It is one that a lot of these big companies are following. And as you can see, one that I actually followed myself and have been. To be honest, the structure of my Facebook ads is pretty much the same no matter what niche I'm in, no matter what product I'm selling. 
So what is the actual strategy then? As you can see, we've got like step-by-step -step points and we're gonna go from top to bottom then. So when I say top to bottom, we're starting literally from this very top line here. And the first thing then, uh, point number one, um, again, another popular question I get asked is run ads from a Facebook page that matches your Shopify store. Don't run them from your profile because you'll soon find that when you start running ads, you'll get page likes and people will like your page because they obviously click on who's running the ad. So if that takes them to your profile, it's just gonna be weird. It's gonna put people off. It's gonna come across as dodgy. So make sure you create a Facebook page that's called the same thing as your Shopify store and make the profile picture then the same as your Shopify store logo as well. Point number two then is interruption marketing. And the reason it's called that then is because you have to take into account exactly what Facebook is it's a social media platform so people are on there to see what their friends are up to or tell their friends what they're up to or watch a cat playing the piano it's they're not on there to buy something so you have to interrupt them so you need that first line of your ad which is probably the very max at what they're going to read and if they read it and it doesn't connect with them or it doesn't interrupt them they're just going to completely brush over what your ad is so you need a bold and relevant statement or question that's going to get the customer's attention and the key words in that sentence then are bold and relevant because it needs to be bold because they have to be interested in it for example you could have an awesome product and an awesome audience but if you just say cats are really cute in the top line like it's not a bold statement people aren't going to be interested in that they're just going to see it and be like yeah they are cute so what and it has to be relevant as well it can't be dogs are really cute and advertising it to cat a, a cat audience because again it's not going to be relevant with them so it needs to be both of those things so some examples then one million cats and dogs are killed on us roads every year when i first got into led dog collars two years ago um, there was this really popular ad going around on facebook and once it come out then a few other companies started using this same statement and i thought about using it with my own ads but i couldn't find anywhere on the internet that made it true like i couldn't find anyone actually quoting this figure so i decided not to use it and that is very very important as it says here i'm skipping forward a bit but all statements must be true because if they're not it's really unethical to scaremonger people into into buying your product and if facebook find out what you're doing you're just going to get banned so a million cats and dogs are killed on us roads every year Two hundred thousand road accidents a year involve cyclists um, and then if you decide to go down the question route here's some examples as well again it needs to be bold and needs to be relevant so do you cycle home from work so that's really specific you're targeting an audience there so you could go ahead and target people who work like nine to five jobs and are interested in cycling something along those lines because if it works if you target the right audience with the right product and they read that and they're like yeah i do cycle home from work then they're gonna be interested in it because they're gonna think oh this is for me what are they showing me what what is this all about and then the final example to show you guys which you saw in this previous ad so which one of these is your favorite um i think i used it in this one here uh, which color is your favorite i did so the reason this works so well then is because it gets people thinking when you ask them a question like this um it's personal to them, which we're gonna get into in a second. Um, but when they read that, it makes them stop and actually think like, what are they talking about? What, which, which ones, like which one is my favorite? And then when they actually do take the time to look through the different variants and find which one is their favorite, then you've just got a higher chance of them actually making that purchase. So moving on, I've already mentioned this, all statements must be true. That is key, don't make up fake statements, you will get banned, you will get into trouble. Um, and then the final point, which is really, really important, is going back to these questions, is make sure they're relevant questions to the individual, not audience. So don't make them really broad questions like, um, that just apply to everybody that sees it. Make sure it's like personal to the individual, if that makes sense. So this question here then is, which one of these is your favorite? That That's a question that you would ask an individual. Same as this as well. Do you cycle home from work? It's not broad. It's, it's not asking everybody that sees it, if that makes sense. It's not like, hello, everyone, which one of these is your favorite? Because it's 
that that everyone that kind of like disarms people they see it as not relevant to them specifically and they'll just think oh somebody else will answer the question but if you target or if you focus directly on asking that specific individual a question then they're more likely to engage with it and actually answer it and get thinking about which one of your products is their favorite if that makes sense it's it's these little touches that make all the difference so any questions at all on this make sure you do understand it feel free leave a comment down below i get back to every single person or dm me or my social media links are in the video description so moving on to point number three which is highlight the problem enough for the solution again i do this in both of these ads the second line is be safe at night it's providing a solution um, and these colors are perfect for nighttime safety again it's telling people the exact benefit of what this product does and i've given another example here so it's dangerous walking your dog at night which it is um, keep them safe and inside with this led dog collar and lead so a key thing here is try and keep it short sharp to the point if you end up writing a story and an essay then you run the risk of people just getting bored and just moving on to the next post in their newsfeed. Moving on to point number four then, which is the CTA or call to action. So make it very, very clear where to get your product. If we have a look at pretty much all of these ads, um, they've got the shop now button down there because it's a carousel ad. They've got the shop now and then a link to the product page. Uh, I think these guys have got it too. Get yours here. And then I've got it in both of these as well. So get your LED dog color here. Um, and then buy yours here. So it's very clear if somebody wants to buy your product, they know exactly where they need to go. Now, believe it or not, no matter how clear you make it, on those two ads that I just showed you, um, you will still get people commenting, where can I buy this product? Um, which is another point, which is actually one of the bonus tips, which we're gonna get into in a second. Um, so a couple of things to keep in mind here, always, always, always link, make that link to the product page. If you put it anywhere else, then you run the risk of people getting bored and just leaving your site. You wanna make it as quick and easy as possible for somebody to make a purchase. And if it goes to their homepage and they have to fish around and try and find that product, they might get distracted. We live in a really distracting world. They might get a, a Facebook message, a WhatsApp message, a phone call. Um, somebody might try and talk to them or whatever it is. Um, so just make it as quick as possible, link it straight to the product page. Point number two, use a short URL to look tidy. So you can use uh, bit.ly or you can use Google uh, shortener URL, whatever it's called. If you just Google URL shortener, you'll be able to get one. Um, and that's purely because some URLs for product pages are gonna be probably two or three pages, two or three lines long. Um, and it's just, again, it's gonna look unneat and untidy. Number five then, in terms of the actual ad copy itself, so whether you use an image, then videos are always superior, to be honest, up until this point now, I always, always, always try and use videos as much as possible just because I find the engagement rate and it's just so much better. Like when a video starts playing, especially if you've got music in as well, then it just grabs people's attention more and they're just more likely to, to actually watch it. And if you can capture their attention in those first few seconds, uh, then you're gonna be onto a winner just so much more than you would an actual image. Um, again, a couple of things to consider when coming up with your ad copy. The key ultimately is to clearly show exactly what your product does or how it works. So actually show your product functioning and doing what it does. Like I did in this ad here, um, and I did in this one as well, you can clearly see an actual dog wearing the product and it lit up in the dark. Um, and then the second point to consider is, if possible, include faces showing an emotion. So hands down, the best way ever to sell any product is to show somebody using your product and having a good time because faces and emotions capture people's attention and it creates a connection that resonates with your customer. They build not like a relationship, but they build that connection. And if somebody, if you see somebody having a good time go-karting and you're walking past, then you're more likely to go go-karting because you wanna have a good time as well, if that makes sense. And it's the same with your ads. So if Blue Crate are really good for this. If you watch any of their video ads, then the people in the videos, as you can see, are laughing and smiling, joking away, um, and things like that just grasp really good engagement as well because the more and as well the more engagement you can get the more reach you're going to get that's going to be free it's called organic reach every time somebody tags somebody or shares your ad then essentially people are seeing your ad that you wouldn't have had to pay for because they're sharing it with somebody um, and that's also a really key point as well to being successful with facebook ads facebook ads are getting more and more expensive i'm going a bit off tangent here but they are getting more expensive so the more you can get people to share it um, and increase your reach for free no extra expense to yourself um, then the better 
And then finally, to wrap the video up then, if, if you're still watching it, thank you very much, guys. But these bonus tips, trust me, will be worth it. Um, engage with the comments. So the comment section of your ad, make sure you watch what's going on there, watch what people are commenting and engage with your customers. This is a great, great thing. When people see the actual company itself, um, not just running ads and then letting it go, but actually engaging with their potential customers, it will increase people coming onto your store, trust me, and the actual converge, overall conversion rate will go up. So ask people questions about the product. What do you like about it? What don't you like about it? If people are posting questions on there, make sure you ask them. There's nothing worse than somebody seeing your ad and somebody previously asking, where do I get this? Or what does this do on the product? And the question going unanswered, it doesn't look very professional at all. And then if people are tagging their friends, make sure you tag them, just say, hey, thanks for tagging, really appreciate it. If you want to buy our product here's our link um, and then finally post links to your product page in the comments just make it as clear as possible as I mentioned there if there's a link in the comments especially in I think on this there was loads and loads of comments so there's one and a half thousand comments so if people start opening up the comment section they're not even going to see your ad because they will have scrolled so far down they won't see your ad so if you can make sure one of the last comments is a link to your product page then again you've got a better chance of somebody actually clicking it and going to your product page so that being said then guys i think we've covered quite a lot there but hopefully i've made myself clear hopefully you've learned something new if you have then i really appreciate it if you leave a like on the video um, and that being said thank you for watching thank you for tuning in and i'll see you all in the next one